Hi, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Soumya. This video is on cyclic photophosphorylation. Okay, first we will look at the definition here. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation, it is nothing but a photophosphorylation in which the electron molecules which are excited are not going to return back. It occurs when there is a bright sunlight and both photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 both are involved in this. Okay, in cyclic electron tr transport system, photosystem 1 is involved. And this uh, non-cyclic uh, photophosphor has a, another name that is called as Z scheme. Okay, it is also called as Z scheme. With this Z scheme, we already know this, there are photosystems, right? Uh, the two photosystems are involved in the non-cyclic electron transport system. That is photosystem 2, cytochrome B6F and photosystem 1. They are all involved. Here what happens? First, light means the radiant energy. The light energy is going to absorb by the chlorophyll, okay, which have the which absorb the 680 nanometer of wavelength, okay, that is in the photosystem 2, which is in the photosystems 2. This is in the uh, it starts with the photosystem 2, and here we also know this too. Uh, so, now by absorbing this light, so this chlorophyll that is got excited photolysis of water, that is uh, photolysis of water means splitting up of water, and this water gives the two electrons okay light it's not give, giving any energy it is only giving the photons to excite this chlorophyll molecule that's it okay electrons are given by the water here okay and it has the magnesium and chloride as well and this splitting of water gives the two electrons and two hydrogen atoms right so what happens here so as two electrons are moving uh, this excited chloroplast which carries the two electrons and transfers it to the pheophytin okay transfer it to the pheophytin as you can see in the diagram so it's transferred first into the pheophytin okay pheophytin so and then it is give, give it to the qa okay and qb as you can see here this is going to transfer into the qa and qb qa and qb and it is give, giving it to the plastoquinone which has the iron ion here okay plastoquinone is the exam points could I will so iron is uh, the plastoquinone only so and then in plastoquinone get to occur a stromal side in the two hydrogen atoms bear entry agutha okay and then this electrons and now again this electrons are moving from plastoquinone to a cytochrome b6f component that is they are now from uh, plastoquinone to they are entering into the cytochrome b6f component okay and this cytochrome b6 other uh, kuda iron ni there and then uh, after cyto cytochrome b6f it is giving it to the plastocyanin that is pc so it is giving it to the plastocyanin copper ion irutte okay and the two electrons so now they are reached into the photosystem 1 the, now they are reached into the photosystem 1 which has the chlorophyll molecule of 7 uh, which absorbs the light of 700 nanometer okay and after absorbing this radiant energy they got this chlorophyll also got excited okay so now because of that these electrons are moving from moving into the a0 and to the a1 okay they are moving into the 0 and then a1 and they are moving into the fx okay fx and they are moving into the fx and then moving into the fa and fb so and they are moving into the fa and fb and they are reaching into the Feridoxine that is FD and they are reaching into the feridoxin FD and there is an enzyme called as FNR FNR and FNR means feridoxin NADPH reductase which is going to read, uh, reduce NADP plus to NADPH okay which is going to reduce NADP plus to NADPH and two electrons are provided by this way and also it requires a hydrogen atoms right those uh, protons those protons or hydrogen atoms uh, given by this hydrogen splitting okay these protons creates a proton gradient in the membrane and these protons are carried and they are combined with the NADP plus with the help of the enzyme FNR it is got reduced into the NADPH that's why and also concentrate here here cytochrome B6F P plus PA gives the ATP here you can see this is a non-cyclic uh, non-cyclic photophosphorylation how many ATPs here three ATPs are you are going to get here this is the end product and also by splitting up of water you are going to get the oxygen as well and you are going to get the NADPH so that's why I said while explaining this non-cyclic electron transport system, the end products of the non-cyclic electron transport is 1 oxygen, 2 NADPH and 3 ATPs, which is very important you have to remember.
okay i'm hoping that this is very simple to understand and there will be more points on this sick electron transport system and even they will ask the sequences of these molecules or complexes so you have to be thorough in this uh, diagram you have to practice this diagram and also you should know the end products of the non cyclic electron transport system i'm hoping th uh, this video is uh, helpful if you like this video please do share and subscribe thanks for watching